Man, this DJ Sussex Move. Chillin' with my nigga Lando on the Hip Hop Lab, nigga. Your bitch know, so don't let your bitch go. Otherwise, your bitch gone, nigga. Holla. It's Lando, your bitch know, don't let your bitch go, man. It's the motherfucking Hip Hop Lab. My nigga DJ Sussex Move. What's the deal, man? What's going on, man? What's the deal? What's the deal, man? Sussex Smooth, number one trap DJ in Michigan, man. What's the deal? So, look, man, for everybody who's not familiar to your movement or anything you got going on, just give them a little backstory, man. Well, you know, I gotta, well, I don't even want to tell my promoter story. I'm here as a DJ. Tell my DJ story. I started, like, doing, like, house parties and shit. We did a lot of house parties back in the day when we was bored, because we did all the big shit through Promo Mob and shit. Then um, one day, you know what I'm saying, we all planned to be rappers and shit at first. And I was with my nigga DBZ, man, RP, my nigga DBZ, me, my nigga Polo, Taz, everybody. We all, we all, you know what I'm saying, free my nigga Kenny High. Like, we all planned to be in rappers and shit, you know what I'm saying. But Kenny ended up going to jail. And then once Kenny went to jail, then... BZ ended up passing, like, RP, my nigga did BZ. And then I was broke as hell. I was fucked up like a motherfucker. I'm sitting there stuck. I got to figure out a plan. And then my nigga Stunt Daily, one of the low-key niggas I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. He was working for Jaguar. I got plugged to Jaguar. And then... <coughs> I came into Jaguar with the resume from as far as, like, I did Aces. I did a lot of club shit. I was 18 and up, you know what I'm saying? I did a lot of 18 and up shit. But once I got to Jaguar and then I became the house DJ at Fame, everything just took off and blew up. Since Jaguar and Fame, I done did King of Diamonds, Sting. Um, I did Jaguar for two and a half years. I'm at Silver Rain now. I'm still the house DJ at Fame currently. Um, I work at the Post Bar every other Saturday, possibly every Saturday now. I don't know, but if you don't see Slick B, you're going to see me every Saturday. And then I got the Hookah Town. I got a lot of hookah bars. Like, I just do everything. I'm everywhere because I want people to hear this music. You got to hear the music. These artists putting in real work, and I love what's going on, and I just love the music, bro. Like for real, for real. That's why I'm knee deep in this shit. I love the music. I know you do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just love this music for real, for real, bro. And I'm just, <clears throat> I'm surprised all this shit came to me this fast. I'm still kind of blown away how fast I developed as a DJ, technically, and how deep of a rotation that I have. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be sitting here if I wouldn't be able to get what I get and I have what I have. You know what I'm saying? I helped a lot of niggas, helping a lot of niggas right now. And I love, like, you know what I'm saying? I make my money. I don't press a nigga about the money. I'm a humbug type nigga. You want me to spend your shit? Pull up on me. I'm at Silver Rain six days a week, and then I'm doing all the clubs in the world. You're going to see me everywhere. Pull up on me. Come holler at me. You feel me? I, I love this shit. Like, for real, for real. I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm getting what I'm, I'm... I love it. You feel me? Period. It ain't about what I'm getting. It's about just loving it. I found my niche. I found my passion. I found my call, and I'm doing what I'm doing. What would you say to the artists that say DJs don't show love? Um, That's a two-headed monster, Lando. And as a rapper... The majority of them don't because of what they got going on. But as a DJ, that's by nature. But some do it too hard. They either press you to pay them or they'll just hold you. And it's not like that. It's not nobody who can translate how to talk to us. It, you know what I'm saying? Because the music game is a whole language within itself. Niggas don't know how to speak the language. Now, I like being a translator. I know how to speak the language, but 
you know what I'm saying? Niggas is just so tough in the city. They don't know how to approach people. They don't know how to humble down and approach people because everybody got this tough guy mantra. And you don't necessarily have to do that. We want the records. I don't want you to just be just play my shit. Uh, that shit ain't going to happen. I just seen BJ hold the best of them. I just seen a lot of niggas hold the best of them. You know what I'm saying? Because of how they just approach them. You know what I'm saying? We people too. Don't just be... Don't just pull up on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Don't just hop out just, hey, yeah, I'm such and such, play my shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling where we at. Ain't no telling the magnitude of the party or the customer or the person that we servicing. You know what I'm saying? So if we play a bold song and we fuck up the mood of the party, that fuck up our bread. And then what? Is you going to pay us? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand that, too. So all I'm saying is, as people, we need to, as people, we need to really just calm the fuck down in this city and learn how to talk to people. Because we are the new Atlanta. As long as I'm in this motherfucker, we going to get, get this shit going. We got our own style of trap music that can fit right in, and we can already do the style that's already doing because I show both sides every time I DJ. I know we can do it. Uh, Smooth, what, what would you tell other DJs uh, that's trying to, you know what I'm saying, embark on the path of becoming a DJ? Well, you need to do your research and you need to practice your technique. It's, it's a certain way that younger DJs like to work. We all like to just work all straight off the laptop. I started off like that. It's a lot of DJs. I ain't going to say no name, but it's a lot of DJs that work like that to this day. You'd be surprised that's doing it real strong DJs. They got powerful names. It's really making moves in the city, really determining what the fuck going on music-wise. And it's a lot of people who run that way, and that's a real lazy way. And I know of a lot of DJs who has who has the good names that I told from the OGs who trickle down from me, who get up in my ass to tell me to do, to do everything a certain way. You know, they coming out telling me, well, yeah, you know, they was laughing at them. They was doing this. They was doing that. Such and such. Ooh, all that. You know what I'm saying? All I want to say is make sure you got your records, get you a rotation. Make sure you can hit, 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 hit. The man who keep them dancing the longest, the man who get paid the most. Hit, 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 and hit, and show people you got a technique. Have handles. It's a lot of old niggas that's out here still working to this day because they out scratching us young niggas. It's not because we not translating into the game. It's not because we don't have the talent. It's a lot of people who have the talent. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to school for it right now, but we are not going to get to where we're not going to translate to the industry unless we do the industry standard. You feel me? Otherwise, we're doing the same thing we keep doing over and over again is just plain insanity. You feel me? I see it now because since I start scratching, I got bigger as a DJ. I would, if I would have stayed DJing the same way I already been DJing, I wouldn't be sitting in this chair with this mic in front of me right now. <laughs> and that's just the best way to say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because my my OGs tell me I'm getting better because I'm scratching now. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a lot of motherfuckers who don't want it. I mean, don't want to see me do it, but I don't want to get into that. I'm not dwelling on that. I'm dwelling on the positive that I got going. And you know what I'm saying? I'm fixing my technique more and more. I'm in the process of getting my new year equipment so I can work the way I want to work. But at the same time, I got to kill a rotation to where every time you hear Sussex Smooth name on the fire, I'm going for goddamn blood. You feel me? I'm running around like Larry and Magic Bird. I'm the coolest nigga in the world till we push that play button. Once that play button happened, I don't fuck with you because I'm all blood. I'm not playing no more because I'm a full-service DJ now. I quit my goddamn job in December. I'm not playing no more. You feel me? I'm DJing like my life depending on it because it do. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to. Don't nobody want to go up against me right now I'm mm -mm, because I'm super full-service. I'm going for what I'm going for. I'm love doing what I'm doing, and ain't nobody going to knock me off my square. So I'm going for it. You know what I'm saying? But bring me the music. I want the music. I love the rotation. I love this shit. I just love the music, bro. 
I love the music. I love making it. I love DJing. I love watching it. I love going. I like going to the studio. Like, shit, I like going to the studio where RJ at and just sit there just watch doing what the fuck he doing. Just roll up, smoke, watch what he doing. Because I just like the music. You know what I'm saying? I like the way it's made. I like everything. What's that What's that email for, for everybody who want to get in contact with you? want to send you some shit? My email is J-O-S-B period. I mean, uh, shit. J O S H B period smooth at gmail dot com or go to my Instagram at DJ Sussex Smooth. That's Sussex the Street Smooth. And then click contact. My number and my email address is there. I ain't a hard nigga to find. I want you to come holler at me. Come holler at me. Pull up. Bring me that music. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna bite your head off, but you know what I'm saying? I got you. So, man, I know you've been doing your thing, so if you could just directly talk to everybody who was supporting you up to this point, what would you say to them? It's been a journey. It's been a ride. Niggas done died. Niggas done went to jail. Niggas done went broke two, three times. But we still here. We still kicking. We still rocking, man. And I'm still here, and I'm glad I still got my support system. On top of the brand new support system I got, it's a lot of people that's helping me under the radar that you don't even understand that's working monuments because if I don't have the support system I have, I wouldn't be able to put out what I could put out. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm doing a lot with the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm helping Band Gang as much as I can. I'm helping Rondé as much as I can. There's a lot of people I'm really helping that I could really do something for. You know what I'm saying? I got a great relationship with Ray. You know what I'm saying? I got a, you know what I'm saying? I got a good relationship with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I helped George. You feel me? Niggas went to Titty Bar. I wasn't going to fuck with him because he was too young. The only spot he can go to was Club Fame. You feel me? And we bought him in. They already knew the goddamn song because the kids watch YouTube. You feel me? The titty bars determine the rotation of the world, but the kids get the old niggas hip. So once the kids got hip to all of it and it translated to the older niggas, this shit blew up. You know what I'm saying? It's just... It ain't too many niggas that could translate, and if I got to be the only translator in the city, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of other niggas that help. The coalition is doing great. They getting a, they getting a lot of artist submission, and they really breaking a lot of records, and they really keeping a lot of artists on. So the street hitters are doing that as well. You know what I'm saying? Because the street hitters got WJLB. You can't even get to a WJLB rotation without going through the street hitters. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people helping. But independently, it's not too many guys in the city. Opposite of DJ, BJ, and RJ, that's independent. That's really bringing out the music the way we is but me. I see that. I understand that. I don't brag about it. I stay in my lane because I'm getting it the way I'm getting it. I ain't got to beg a nigga for shit. I don't have to elbow my way into everything. I ain't got to beg for no records. I ain't got to beg niggas to pull up on me because they can see it. You feel me? I want you to bank on what you see. I don't want you to bank on what I tell you. Motherfuckers don't believe words. They believe what you can show them. You feel me? This nigga wouldn't even be fuck with me if I couldn't show him nothing. Like, it's just common sense. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I want a lot of people to use. I want the people to use a lot more common sense than what we doing. I want you to bring me the music. But, bro, if your shit ain't right, take your criticism, bro, because I'm going to tell you. I'm not no punk. I'm going to tell you. Like, bro, your shit is not it. Like, it's just, it is what it is. I get paid to be a DJ every day. This is what I'm doing. Your shit need to be tight. But once your shit tight and you come to me the right way, you can rotate you, I got you. I got six artists like that in the titty bar right now. Like, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. I'm not no whole ass nigga, but I'm not no burger neither. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you already know. It's Lando, yo bitch. No, don't let your bitch go, nigga. It's the motherfucking hip hop lab. My nigga Sussex Mood is the first interview, but not the fucking last. Let's get it. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to do a 
me and this man, we're going to start a pipeline. I won't, you know what I'm saying? Because I watch his channel. I watch a lot of niggas' channels. And I get a lot of Detroit music off there. The majority of this shit on YouTube. You got to follow these niggas' channels to really get the music. So please respect these people the way they is. I need these people in the game so I can play y'all shit the way y'all shit won't be played. Because y'all, the views on YouTube determine how much and how deep I go into how your shit is going. So if you don't respect these media outlets and don't respect the power of the views of what's going on, then you don't want my rotation because numbers don't lie. If you want to generate revenue, you got to know these numbers. And I'll base my rotation off these numbers. You know what I'm saying? So please respect my media outlets, please. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting a pipeline the best way I can, and I'm coming back, and I'm doing the state of the game. I just got to get a state of the game because I can see it and I love it. And right now it's great. Keep it going. Don't stop shit y'all doing. Keep doing the shit the way y'all doing it because I'm going to keep playing it the way I'm playing it. And I'm out of here.